MustangMedic.com. The 1969 Mustang Grande for sale. Check it out, guys. All right, I'm here with Pete. We got Carlos and we've got Rachel. Rachel, Rachel where, are, where are you, Rachel? There she is, and she's feeling much better, thank God. Thank you for all your concern. It's nice to know that Rachel's got a fan club out there, guys. We're going over to see the uh, Mustang uh, 69 Grande, and we're going to fix uh, um, Jeffrey's door panel for him because the, the trim and the glass actually, uh, actually came out, and we're going to work on that for him. So we are doing... We're actually doctor on call. We still we still do house calls here at Mustang Medic. All right, we're Jeffries, and we are now getting this deluxe door panel off of this Grande to get this piece of glass that is missing. So what you have to do after you pop these clips and taking off the five screws, make sure there's no hidden screws. Here it is. Dun, dun, dun. Grande door, rubber insert piece. See that? It covers over that little screw right there. Mm. So we're gonna. There you go, Carlos is making sound effects again. We're gonna take that little screw out and pull this out and the door should, for all practical purposes, lift right off. So here we go. 69 Grande, $15,000 is the asking price for this car and it's well worth it. It's a California car, it's tight, it's clean, and it's been degreased. Here's that plug that was uh, that's plugging in the light on the Grande door panel, the deluxe door panel. We're going to unplug that next. We're going to unscrew this bezel for the mirror adjustment. Jeez, I got it. Jeez. And she should come off now. Let's see what we got. Mustang. I'm on? Yeah. <laughs> You're smiling. <laughs> yeah, I'm smiling. All right, here goes. Ah, look at that door panel. Ain't she a beaut? A little bit. We could do a little bit of repair in here. Uh, you probably could use a hot iron and some vinyl repair kit and be able to clean this door panel up because these things are pretty valuable. It's beautiful. Carlos, lay this down. Hey, stop. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we've done to avoid tearing, kudos, kudos to Pete is we started to peel it back instead of cutting through it. So I was gonna just chop through the sucker and Pete says, hey, you can peel it. And then immediately, um, Jeffrey, my client said, oh, I'm glad you brought him. I could take it, I could take it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach in right here and pluck out this piece that was gonna be near impossible to get any other way. Gotta get it around the door rail, the window rail. And there she is. A little bent though. Uh, she's bent, yeah, she's bent good. So let's just get a new one. So we're going to be getting a new one, but it's out of the door. So the mission is accomplished. Uh, going to be giving a phone call to Mustang Country. They've been giving me great prices lately. And we're going to replace this piece and get it shipped out, get this fixed. This car is going on eBay um, within the next two days. So if you want to act on it, I would act on it quickly. The asking price is 15000 Make us an offer we can't refuse. MustangMedic.com, baby. So what we've done is we've glued the panel back on. It's a minor little tiny tear in it, but it's not even noticeable. So we were able to save the original um, uh, uh, paper sound buffering that goes between the door and the door panel. So now we're going to put the door panel back on by reversing the process. We're going to slide this through, drop it down here. It goes down. It's got three push pins. One, two, three right here. And actually it's got two in the front. So those two, they're all metal push pins. Don't forget this screw inside the handle with the little rubber cup. This is what hides that screw that keeps it secure. And then there's one, two, three, four, five screws. If you don't see five screws, one of them is hidden and you gotta dig for it. We had to dig for this one to find the screw head in there. So we're gonna put it back on. Don't forget to plug in your light. And next shot, you'll see a completed door. Here's an interesting shot of the back of the deluxe door panel and how it holds in the Mustang insert. It actually has bent pins on each side, I'm tracing it right now, that hold that insert in on the door panel. And here's a back view of the plug and the light. You want to flip it around, Carlos, so they have reference? And there's that gorgeous door panel. And it's held on by a bunch of bent uh, pins. Isn't that interesting? But this does go with the door, so 
You're not taking that out when you're removing the door. All right, door going in. I gotta make a special point on this on this 69 Grande, which I really I don't think I've really hammered it away at it enough. You have to understand this is 66,000 miles. It's a 351 Mustang Grande with air, and the air works. So that's very rare. Just sold a just sold the. Um, 66 convertible that also the air work too. I've been very fortunate with the cars I've been able to represent and straight out you know I'm a straight shooter and you're gonna get what you get and that's why I'm so picky about the cars I actually represent and this is a beautiful 69 Grande asking price $15,000 so you guys check her out let me know if you need additional photographs she again she is going on eBay soon so I would act quickly I don't think it's gonna last long again here is that 351 69 Mustang Grande. All right, I'm excited about it. I don't want to come. Off, I don't want to come off like a used car salesman, but she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Air conditioning does work. All right, we got it back on, but guys, this is a bugger, man. Best. What we did is we actually held the mirror in position to get this to sit outright, so we could pull it out. And then we were able to hand thread this on, and it was challenging. But guess what? Like a right mirror, we got her done. Look at that. Mm. Everything's working nice and stock. Love this car. Love this car. Love okay, on to plugging in the light and then securing the door. All right, so we got the hole through for the window for the locks. This has been reconnected. We now have the screw in down below in the cup, and there is that little rubber piece that is the cosmetic fascia and it basically just all you do is push it in it's actually quite simple and now we are going to we push the pins in and now we're going to secure the screws along the bottom and attach the door handle and then the fascia for the light we ordered a light bulb his light bulb was uh, not working it was out a burned out bulb so we ordered this from Mustang Country I'm going to put it back on and we can put it in later. All right, there it is. The screws are back in, and that was that hidden screw. It's actually sticking out now. In other words, you can see it. And all screws are now attached in the bottom of the Grande door panel. And now we are going to move to the light fascia uh, for the the you know the uh, deluxe seat and the putting back on the window crank. Don't forget your little plastic piece that you got to put in between so it's not rubbing directly against the uh, the vinyl of the seat. The vinyl of the seat. The vinyl of the seat, thank you Carlos. Mm -hmm. Put that plastic piece in before you put the uh, the crank on. And I always try to line up the cranks. That crank is showing th that angle back there like that. I'm going to try to do the same thing with this. Let me get that in focus. But see the back angle of that? Look how beautiful that interior is. Uh, and I'm going to try to match that so they both look alike. This is the fascia plate. The red goes in back and the white goes in front. The white is what's behind, behind the light. The red is a reflector so when your door is open and a car is coming it can see the door being open. There's two small screws right here and right here. Like so. Here's the screw right here and this is the final touch. And they're, they're totally hidden. So you got to get down underneath to d detach them but straight out we probably didn't have to take this off at all because all we really had to do was take these screws off this 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 and this and uh -huh. would have came off and left this on but you do want to take this off to change out your bulb we took the bulb out of it here's the bulb and we're going to order a, a new one for Jeffrey to get that working too it's, it's the last it's the only thing that doesn't work in this car so got to change the bulb right we got some clear temperature E6000 uh, glue, and we glued this piece back on. It was not bent. We thought it was bent, but the good news was it was not bent. That, uh, that residue you see is just the glue. I'm going to scrape it off with the scraper off the glass. But we were able to glue it back on, and we're very glad. They do not make this piece for the 69, much to my surprise. It's a $75 piece, so you're hunting it on eBay trying to get one. So I am very pleased to report we were able to pull it out of the door and we were able to glue it back on and fix it. So that's the last detail other than that light bulb. She's for sale. Have I said that enough? All right, so job complete. Do a little scraping right now and we are heading home.
All right, so here we are, heading back home. We got Pete Carlos, and we remembered Rachel. Say hi, Rachel. Hi. Here she is. So successful mission, doors fixed. We got photographs of the car. Here we come, eBay with the 69 Grande. Mustang Medic. Dot com. A little late on that, Carlos. Ready? Mustang Medic. Dot com. Beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, go ahead, Rachel. Say it again. Yeah, look at the camera. Say it again. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I gotta give you a card. Are we on? Yep. Look at this. Look at these gas prices. This truck's killing me. Mustang Betty truck's killing me. Stop the crazy gas prices. Come on, guys. Somebody. Somebody's gotta be in control of OPEC somewhere. We shoot video. <laughs> this is Garrett, and he's a Mustang guy, too. Here it is. What do you got? What year? 99 Mustang. It's a V6. It's a V6? Did you put on these emblems on here? Did you put these emblems on the side? That one's running backwards. Somebody put them on. Somebody must have put them on. Oh, okay. So what, somebody put that one on. That one's different because I was hit on this side. Oh, did you get hit? Yeah. Uh, it's. Oh, hey, man, that's not much. Yeah. It's nice. You got to change that pony, though. It's got to run forward, man. <laughs> that's just my opinion. I put ponies all over this thing. All, they all, I'm always, like, meticulous about them running that direction. Oh, yeah. It's nice, though. It's a nice car. With the, with the caps, I like to have them facing up and then pointing this way. I hear you. I hear you. See, we're all the same way. Yeah, that's cool. It's nice to meet you. You too. Oh, this pump is still going. This is killing me. 70 bucks. Oh, oh, oh. This was painful. That is painful. And right now we're only at like only at 435 or 436 a gallon. We're almost home, guys. And there is a 289, 1964.5 with a four speed stick in it. All original. I'm trying, trying to get my hands on that puppy. Someday. Puppy. Someday. Puppy, that's a reference to a car. Mustangmedic.com. Please look for the link in the description of the video for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. And stay tuned. Mustangmedic.com.